In my video today, I'm going to speak to you about after the storm and firestorm. Firestorm is an article about the lives of Tim and Tammy Holmes. One of on one hot afternoon in Dun Alley, where they flee a spreading fire to wreck refuge under a small jetty. Well, after the storm, as many of you might know, is about Andrew and how he retells his story through his perspective as a disaster survivor. He informs you on how it feels grieving for those lost and how you can't prepare to to be a survivor. These two interactive texts grab my interest because they are similar in topic, but very indifferent, but very different in presentation. For these exact reasons, I'm going to cover how they compare in representation and effect of an interactive digital text. That's fine. That was my dad to say everyone say hi to my dad. He just came back from work. The 2011 super outbreak was the biggest and one of the most deadliest tornado outbreaks ever recorded. With a total of 216 tornadoes hitting the Midwest and southern states, one of these tornadoes struck Tusluca, Alabama, where Andrew Bell Grace and his girlfriend were residents. Right? This tornado ripped through middle of t this tornado ripped through the middle of Tusluca and left devastation in its wake. Many properties and full blocks were lifted in the sky while Andrew hid in his closet. While in 2013, one of the worst fires in Australian history affected the state of Tasmania, where a total of 49,000 acres of land were burnt and many towns were affected. One of these towns was a small fishing town to the east of Hobart called Dun Alley, where 65 buildings were burnt, including a home of including the home of Tim and Tammy Holmes. Their home, the Holmes home, was burnt. I, these two stories compare the representation and effect of digital interactivity through many different means. In After the Storm, Grace narrates and guides you through the story, while in Firestorm, you're tasked with reading page on page of words, with short videos and interviews scattered throughout the story. Which kind of sucks. I didn't like Firestorm. It read out like, or like four out of ten, but that's not really related. Both these texts are similar when viewed through basic points. These include storyline, text, language, image, and interactivity. That's only some of them. Such as in After the Storm, where the focus is about how Gray survived a tornado that devastated his town, Tusluka, and in Firestorm, where a fire desert devastated Dun Alley, where the homes, where the home of Holmes' family lived. The two stories about freak events where a town is wrecked by natural cause and the lives of those who survived. The stories both try to achieve creating emotion in the viewers for the survivors. But how they do this is wildly different, such as how they interact with the viewer after the storm takes the route of narration, leaving the viewer to take in images and videos that appear on screen, such as the map of Alabama where tornadoes are shown. In Firestorm, there's a similar map that shows outbreaks of fires in Tasmania, but is second to all of text that sits beside it. After the storm uses interactivity to engage the audience through events such as controlling a flashlight in a closet and flicking through a camera as if you were one who took the photos. Through interactive events such as the one described, After the Storm is just more effective at telling an immersive interactive story than Firestorm, where its only interactive parts are scrolling down to a new chapter. I won't even describe it as an interactive text. In conclusion, when I compare the two stories, you can clearly see which is more effective because of the use of interactive elements, language, and other stuff. The that engage and immerse the viewer into the story. By doing this, Andrew Bell effectively Brand, creates Brand, his goal of offering Brand, instruction Brand, and comfort. Brand.